We want Slim to cook. Last time Slim cooked, three of the ranch hands died, Shiloh. That's right. That's how Tommy spent them three days in the outhouse, huh? Painfully so. I know, I'll run home sober up. Ma, she'll cook for us. Who? Ma. Oh, save yourself a trip. Ma can't cook. What do you mean, Ma can't cook? You know she's the best cook in the county. Oh, she knows how to cook. She just can't cook today. Why not? She's in jail. <laughs> Again. Again. All right, what'd she do this time? She got herself all gussied up last night. She went down to the wild west. Oh, Chelsea, she what? Hold it. You can't tell that story. Why not? Look at all the youngins out here. Folks over there from Ohio. No, <laughs> yeah, those folks from Ohio probably shouldn't hear that story. To save it for later. It is a good one. Sounds <laughs> like them all, right? I hate to ask, but how long should she get this time? That's the worst part. She made that judge mad to give her 90 days. 90 days? In a row. <laughs> you can starve to death in 90 days. Oh, you three probably could. I should be all right till October. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait till October. I'm hungry now. What are we going to do for breakfast? Let's do what these folks do each morning. Let's go to McDonald's, get Meg McMuffin. <laughs> You buy it? Nope, not mine. You ain't gonna cook, you ain't gonna buy How come you ain't buy it? Because I ain't got no money. All three of you boys had plenty of money last night. Yep, that was last night. <laughs> you stayed in town, didn't you? We was hanging out with Ma. <laughs> <laughs> right. See if I got this straight now. We ain't got no Ma. Uh huh. We got no money. That's Boy, correct. On, we definitely ain't got no cook. Boy, you got that right. I'll agree up anyway. Wait a minute. I just got me an idea. <laughs> you got a what? Evelyn, don't play. I got an idea. You probably should go put it back before they find it missing. <laughs> It ain't missing from nowhere. It's my old idea. I thought it up myself. Hold on. Folks, this is the scary part of the show. <laughs> I hate to ask, but what's your idea? Well, I just happen to have me a deck of cards right here. I say we play us a little poker for breakfast, buddy. I say you get a hearing aid. I just finished telling you we ain't got no money. You know we ain't got no money, but look around. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a whole bunch of filthy rich turks. They'll take one of them. I like the way you do it. One of them in the game will take their money. All right. All you filthy rich turks, raise your hand. You got one? Yeah, I believe I do. Bring them out here.
can beat no red hand. I got, I got red ones and black ones. Actually. Three kings and two aces. You were standing in the wrong spot. That was supposed to be your. Don't say you're done, boy. Please buy a gun. I'll put that on the table. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Get the package right there. Said I can beat that fella. You can beat a full half. Right there. Yep, today. Yeah, with what? Five aces, Wait a minute. Five aces. That guy had two and five. I only put six of them in the deck. What's that? Five and two more than six? Forty-eight. Forty-eight? Oh, okay. Then we're good. Forty-eight? Wait a minute. Tucker? What? You drop your cards over here. Nope, mine are still right there. <laughs> this guy cheated us. Oh, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. He couldn't have cheated. I helped him. <laughs> we got us a card cheat. What do you do with a card cheat? <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, he had a second eye hand you want to plug in, too. You want to plug in here or take him down and make a pile? Let's make a pile. Let's walk him. He's too busy. Uh oh. Pick that up. No, just stand right here. Don't move. All right, boys. What's going on out here? I have no idea. <laughs> what happened to Slim? Oh, he got killed. <laughs> I can see he got killed. Who done it? That fellow. <laughs> <laughs> what are you grinning about? <laughs> Almost feel guilty. Almost. Come with me. All right. All right. I need you to stand right here. Be quiet. Behave. I'm going to investigate. I'll try to see you don't get plugged. There's a flying map. Who's this guy? <laughs> Tucker. What? Let's have it. What happened here? Um, you know, Marshall, we were standing around this morning minding our own business, just trying to decide what we were going to do for breakfast, when that fella jumps up out of the crowd and said he wanted to play cards. <laughs> we didn't want to. We kept it up pretty soon. He got the boys in a card game, and you know, things were going along pretty good, till he up and accused Slim of cheating, just because Slim had five aces. Then it turned ugly. They started cussing each other. Back and forth and back and forth. And that guy right there, Marshall, he pulled out a great big double barrel shotgun this shot. Slipped down. It was terrible. Marshall, this is the worst thing I ever seen. I think we're going to need counseling now. <laughs> <laughs> counseling. Counseling ain't gonna do you boys any good. Tucker, let me see if I got this here story straight. You're telling me this fella right here got you boys in a card game? Yes, sir. After I've told you time and time again, don't be playing cards with the tourists. Get one on fault. He insisted. All right. Then you tell me things were going along pretty good. So this fella right here up and accused Slim over there cheap just because he had five aces. Five. And then, from somewhere, this fella here pulls out a great big old double barrel shotgun. Shot slid down like the dirty dog that he was. Yep. That's exactly the way it happened. Tucker, I do not believe that story. Oh, I don't know why not. I thought it was one of my better ones. <laughs> I'm going to tell you why not. First place, I don't believe a feller like this in his right mind He's going to come out here on a day like today in front of all these folks here wearing his undershorts and carrying a purse. <laughs> Second of all, don't believe a fellow like this even owns a gun. Marshall makes a pretty good point. Yeah, I'll tell you what, any fellow mean enough to play cards with the likes of us, Wearing them wore out cowboy boots and them high water bridges. I bet that guy's got two guns. You better check that pretty little pussy thing you do. I'll tell you what. You take your pretty little person, we'll have a seat. Hey, mister, I'm going to deal with you now. Right. Woo! Yeah. 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 You know, I reckon.
Jackie, you don't get out much. The shoes and the purse don't even match. <laughs> you know what? It don't matter none anyway. You boys ain't nothing but train robbers and horse thieves. Who do you call a horse thief? These horses right here are stolen. That makes you boys horse thieves in my book. Shiloh? You gonna out steal a horse without me again? No. Marshall? It couldn't have been me. I was over at Sunday school this morning. And when I left these horses, they just followed me back over here. Sunday school. It's Saturday. Well, I was early. Right. You boys ain't been to a day of Sunday school in your life. These horses are stolen. You boys are horse thieves. Uh, wait, wait a minute, Marshall, wait a minute. I might be a horse thief. From time to time, the boys and I borrowed a horse or two. We didn't take those three, uh-huh. All right. Then if you didn't, who did? Just a second. <laughs> Let me find someone who looks like a horse thief. Excuse me, excuse me. You're too young to be a horse thief. Oh, I know who did it. <laughs> Trace did it. Trace! <laughs> Aren't you glad I didn't pick you? <laughs> you got to be yeah, buddy. Hey, uh, hey, Trace. Trace! We've got a fellow right over here with the cameraman and Mrs. Pitcher. He wants to do a retake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, All right, Tucker. Where was we? You know what? I'm not real sure, but Shino and I missed breakfast. Can we just skip a couple lines and get on with this? Suits me fine. I may be a horse thief. From time to time, the boys and I borrowed a horse, too. We didn't take those three, huh? No way, we're not. All right. You didn't. Who did? Come on, Shiloh. Get out of this tourist way. We all want to do this one more time. Get over here. <laughs> Flynn, er, uh, Trace did it. Trace! picture that time, mister? <laughs> All right, boys. It's come down to this. You ain't getting on that train today, and you ain't going to be robbing these good folks here. Who's going to stop us? That's going to be me. <laughs> We're not afraid of you. You best be afraid. You ain't getting on that train. I got news for you. You got my locked up, and we ain't got no money. Yeah, we're getting on that train today, Marshall. As a matter of fact, we're going to rob everybody on it. Can I tell you something else? I find me one of these ladies that can cook. I'm going to have me a new bride. Uh. Oh! Hey! I got a volunteer! Hey, Tucker. What? Nah, I hate to disappoint you. I don't see two of them up here that look like they even know how to cook. Ooh! Smashless! City girls? They're all city girls. Aw, oh, Shiloh, we're gonna starve. What you're gonna do right now? Turn in their six guns or go to use them? Yeah, we'll turn them in all right, one bullet at a time. You ready? Yep. Hold it. Hold it. You can't yell, hold it in the middle of a gunfight. We have to discuss the rules, right? Wait, well, no, it's a gunfight. There are no rules. There's rules in this one. All right, what are they? Well, rule number one. <laughs> I win. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the world famous Canada Pink Game. Get up, please. You said I cheated the Well, it don't matter. I won. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we're all done shooting for the time being. If you'd like to stick around and get some pictures with the cowboys and the horses, you've got plenty of time before you have to catch the train this morning. Thank you for being with us, folks. I either got to get up, take pictures, or get up, and get free, but you got to get up. Thank <laughs> you.